we're now going to talk about completing the square. And the idea here is we have something, let's say n squared plus 10n, and we want to create a perfect square trinomial. This is what we mean by completing the square. So we need to have something plus what makes this a perfect square trinomial. So remember, a perfect square trinomial is always of the form a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. And so if we compare these, we recognize that the n squared and the a squared have to be the same, which means that n is a. That's the only way that works. Well, it also means that the 10n has to equal the 2ab. So, and we also know that a is n. So I have an n on each side and I can get rid of it. And if I divide by 2, and here's the key, if I divide by 2, then I get that big B is 5, which means the number I need is this squared. And so if I get rid of this question mark and put a 25 in its place, then I have a perfect square trinomial that factors 2n plus 5 squared. And so the key here is to remember that big B is just this number, let's call it little b, divided by 2. And then we're able to get our answer. So let's look at it, a couple more cases. Suppose we have x squared minus 16x plus what? Well, we take little b, which is this guy right here. If little b equals minus 16, then big b equals minus 16 over 2, which is negative 8. And then we take that and we square it to get 64. And so we add 64, and when we do that, this now factors as, and this is important too, I didn't mention this before, whoops, it's not a b, it's an x minus 8. Whatever that half number is, that number is what goes right there, sign and all. So let's look at a squared plus 6a plus what? Well, 6 divided by 2 is 3. 3 squared is 9, so if I put a 9 right here, then this will factor as a plus 3 squared. This also works if there's fractions involved. You just have to be a little bit more careful about the fractions or the, the odd numbers. z squared minus 7z plus what? Becomes a perfect square trinomial. Well, we take our negative 7, cut it in half. Notice that doesn't reduce, so when we square this, we're going to get 49 over 4. So we put 49 over 4 here, and then this factors as z minus 7 halves squared, and we get our answer. And so if you can keep this idea combined, you take the middle number, cut it in half, and square, and that's what we add so that we can complete the square.